Hello. Today I would like to present excerpts from the program of people born on 31st of July leap years or on the 1st of August uh, of the coming years. This is a very brief overview of this personality. All information is taken from the catalog of human population. Let's go. The considered person could be justly described, first of all, as a boss executive. Whether she is an official or a leader in some interpersonal relations, she has a personality of a troop officer, of a basic training officer, but it would be a peculiar type of a troop officer, the one affecting hardline dictate with a soft smile and a kind of affable expression. This lady performs this function exactly like that. She tells others what has to be done and how they should behave. Another aspect of her dictate is that she relies on modern trends and methods, uh, on something current used here and now. Uh, for example, uh, if she lived in times of Stalin's regime, she would be calmly, amicably and quietly sign uh, execution papers uh, while quietly preaching humanity in between. In modern times, she could act a fr as a friendly manager, who with a soft smile consistently reminds his subordinates, according to official duties of our organization, you must, and she will be instantly requiring to fulfill those duties. She has an extensive toolkit to enforce her demands. For example, she has a unique ability to force her opponents to go on escapades, extravagant pranks and emotional trails as she sees fit. She is able to provoke unrest, excitement, doubt, depending on her own views with respect to a person. Uh, and this quality could considerably thrive them towards uh, meeting her demands. No doubt this lady could make her colleagues toy the line with her instruction, but this will be uh, done amicably, uh, politely, with a radiant smile on her face. She has a habit of a quite sternly interfering in uh, with everything, uh, but doing it with so innocent expression of Signora Rosaura from the Pinocchio fairy tale. Uh, this lady could in all respects be called sharp-sighted, since she notices everything around. She sees everything and uses this vision uh, for her advantage. She can successfully monitor the condition of uh, other people, noticing a slight change in her opponents. She can also adequately follow any trends in social life, be it music, intellectual sphere or fashion trends. Uh, she notices even small things. Uh, her vocation, her talent, is to know everything that happens and I all intrigues, relationships, backgrounds. Uh, this is her personal quality that over time transforms, uh, often time transforms into a profession, uh, her life food, so to speak. Uh, she would make a good uh, psychologist science uh, since she has an ability of noticing the smallest nuance of another personality all cur current uh, graduations of the person's temper and feelings. Uh, one of the areas this person dedicates her specific attention is traditions, customs, manners, styles, looks and rumors, who said what and who did what. Uh, she is a person who catches the above very well and then acts strictly following a certain factor. For example, during a journey to a Muslim country, she will not be wearing a short skirt or a dress hardly covering her butt or an open uh, chest top. Uh, or if she decides to visit a Christian church, she will always cover her head with a scarf, uh, as it is customary in church, no matter what her opinion is on Christianity. Likewise, she will try to consider customs and traditions of any national group, social strata or religious trend. Uh, in short, she behaves ritualized. Uh, this quality helps greatly as she successfully becomes a part of any Pro, uh, pro, uh, proposed style. Uh, also, this person is multi-faced. Uh, for her, the system of social masks in common and standard lifestyle. She could give her face any traditional expression of any kind with no problem. For example, religious obedience, love, compassion, sympathy, kindness, empathy, or even wild passion. She is a master of facial impressions uh, of mummery, if you would. This lady could be defined as an instruction woman. She is a very dutiful person. For example, if she were a legal professional, she herself uh, would rigorously follow the effective laws, all regulations, orders and instructions, and force others to do the same.
Uh, but of course, this quality would show regardless of her being a legal professional or professional in some other field, not related to jurisprudence. Uh, from her point of view, any area has traditions, and uh, uh, tra traditions as uh, expressed in unspoken rules and laws that everybody should obey. Uh, for example, the institutions of marriage and family, where there are common communication partners, behavioral models for uh, husband and wife in their interrelation, for kids with their respect to their parents, uh, what behavior, uh, behavior should be shown with uh, relations uh, with uh, distant relatives. Now, the same occurs uh, in any sphere of uh, social relations professional, business, among friends, naturally depending on nationality, social strata and other factors. Uh, this lady would rigorously comply with the specific unspoken social uh, regulations, but she would also ask others to do the same. Uh, as a result, her life essentially is simple as a farm fence. Uh, there are rules, obey them, moreover, inherently, not being able to generate her own original uh, designs or ideas. She doesn't take extra time to think, uh, oh, why should she puzzle over something? The most she would do is, in this respect uh, uh, is to type up uh, with yet another instruction to perform lawmaking, so to speak. Uh, the wide selection of uh, templates she, uh, she knows uh, helps her to develop a flexible approach uh, to life and various situations. This person uh, is a kind of a woman that's said to be a, a woman pleasant in all respects. Uh, and this is actually true. She's stylish, optimistic, cheerly, with bright eyes, never hanging her head. Uh, besides, as we mentioned, uh, she is immensely polite and behaves overall flawlessly. Her beliefs could be express, expressed as uh, everything uh, should be proper. And she strives to match the category of people often called comil for good and proper. Uh, that are people well-mannered, demonstrating behavior, manners and actions accepted in high society. But uh, others shouldn't flatter themselves with affability and virtuous looks of this lady. As a matter of fact, she has a very clear agenda. If someone wouldn't listen to her, this per person should be destroyed. Uh, in all senses. One has to know that she belongs to a soft, smiley and seemingly harmless kind of serial killers. And generally, she, would, uh, need she wouldn't need knives, guns or hired killers for her purposes. Her talent of calling on emotion, feelings of any strength, uh, as we said above, could put any person into serious stress um, that one could possibly not recover from. Uh, psychophysiology of a person that she decides to destroy simply might not stand her absolutely psychological strike. By the way, this lady might be a funeral services worker, a cemetery, crematorium, funeral bureau, uh, but even if she d uh, doesn't work in this sphere, nevertheless, she will remain uh, a type of polite uh, grave digger, able to send anybody to the glory. Uh, but one shouldn't view this person as a death apologist. Uh, rather, she is an elephant in a china shop, cheerfully crushing everything on its way. For complete information about this or any other subtype structure, please visit www.catalogofhumanpopulation.org. Goodbye.